everybody, it's me, Jenna. Here comes Trouble 88. Um, coming at you with a quick video, really quick. Um, I gotta rush out of here. I have a doctor's appointment in like 30 minutes. But I wanted to make a quick video. Um, the last video I made, I had asked um, if people would hit me up with some questions um, so I could have some ideas for a video um, of really of what everybody wants or needs to hear about. Um, and I got a great message from, um, I'm looking down because I'm reading it, um, from Pudge Muffin. And, um, you know what, it was something that really hit home with me because I battled with it a lot in the beginning of my surgery, and I'm sure a lot of us have. And the topic that I'm going to talk about is um, kind of what you see in the mirror after having weight loss surgery. Um it's kind of crazy because um, I found when I looked in the mirror before my surgery when I weighed 240 pounds, um, I wasn't always 240 pounds. You know, I mean, I was always a little more heavier set than the kids growing up, but it was never anything that wasn't normal. So um, I never was really fat. And then all of a sudden, um, I got sober, and in three years, I put on 140 pounds. And so when I would look in the mirror, you know, prior weight loss surgery, um, I didn't see a 240 pound girl who was only five foot three. I seen a skinnier person, but I still knew inside that I wasn't skinny. I was fat. But I don't know, when I looked in the mirror, I still liked what I saw. I still thought I was pretty. I still thought I looked good. Um, I mean, of course, there was times I, I didn't feel like I looked good, but for the most part, I mean, I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe because I liked what I, I didn't hate what I looked like, but I didn't like it either. And then <clears throat> after having weight loss surgery and looking in the mirror, I still, that's when I saw a fat person. That's when I saw, like oh my gosh, I don't like the way my stomach looks. It looks jiggly. I I just, I didn't like it. I, that's when I seen a fat person. I mean, this is only, you know, I mean, not this is only, but this is already when I'm, you know, 50 pounds down, 70 pounds down, and I'm still seeing this huge person, and everyone's telling me, wow, you look so great, you look so great. And um, it took me a while. I didn't, I didn't really see it. And, um... So, I think that if you're experiencing that, um, you know, that image, um, trouble really perceiving what you look like, um, that, that it's normal, and don't freak out. But, at the same time, you need to start building self-confidence again. Um, I want you guys that, um, that feel like that, or... You know, even if you don't, find something, think about something that you love now. You know, after I, I had that weight loss surgery and someone had told me that, you know, because I had, I had talked to somebody about how I felt and I felt that way. I, I wasn't seeing what everybody else was seeing. Um, and so they told me to find something about myself that I loved now that I didn't love before. And you know what it was me? It's the stupidest thing. But... It's these things right here. This. I never had this before. I never had it. And it just, it gives me definition in it. I just, I find this area of my body so sexy now. And it was never a part of my body that I hated or even a part of my body that I thought of before. But now, like, when I look in the mirror, I'm always like, ooh, that looks good. Oh, I look good. And finding those things, um you know, slowly is going to make you feel better about yourself. You know, you need to find things about yourself that you like about yourself now. And even if it's something small or if it's something stupid, like you went down a half a shoe size, I mean, whatever it is, it will make a difference. Um, so I want you guys to do that because it, I mean, it worked for me and, um, I think it'll work for you too. And, um, 
I'm trying to like read some of my notes that I wrote because a lot of things were coming to my mind when um, when I was reading her message. Um, anyway, I mean, I don't know really um, what else to kind of touch on that on that subject, but um, you know, I just really want everyone to find something about themselves that you guys like now that you didn't like before. Um, and also, I really want to apologize because um, I was gone for 10 months, and um, I just checked my emails, and um, I started reading them late last night when my husband was home, and I had something like 600 messages, and I am so sorry that I was gone for so long because it makes me cry because I didn't realize how much I help people. I didn't realize how many people that my story has inspired. And um, so many people were asking me for questions and wondering where I was and needing advice. And people were depending on me and I wasn't there for you. And I'm really, really, really sorry for that. And um, I don't even know how to begin to tell you how sorry I am for everybody who um, needed me and I wasn't there. And um, I'm really going to work hard at, at being here because... So many people don't have a support group. When they tell their family or their friends that they're going to have weight loss surgery, people try to talk you out of it. And you know what? It, I know what it feels like to not have anybody there on your side for the surgery. And, um, and that's why it's really important for everyone to know that if you don't have anyone, I will be here for you. I'll give you my phone number. We can talk on Facebook or whatever. But um, it's really important for you to have a support group, um, to have a team on your side. And, um, yeah, so I want to be that person if you need it. And what else? I'm ending a lot. I feel like I'm rambling right now. Um, okay, so... A lot of people have been sending me their phone numbers and wanting me to talk. They want to talk and they have questions. And um, there's this really great support group. It's in Fountain Valley at Fountain Valley uh, Regional Hospital. And it's on Thursday nights. And I think it's from 7.30 to 9.30. Um, and the first hour is like um, – like a doctor will come in, a weight loss doctor, or there's like a, a psychiatrist or a therapist or whatever, and, and she'll talk. And then after that, it's uh, an hour of open discussion, and it's people with all different kinds of weight loss surgeries. And I haven't been in a really long time, and it's a really phenomenal meeting. And um, if you guys are interested in going, a lot of people have asked if they want to meet me, they'd like to be friends. Um I would love that. So if you're interested um, in going to that meeting um, and you're local or, you know, semi-local and you'd like to go, it's Thursday at Fountain Valley Hospital. Maybe we could all meet for coffee at Starbucks before um, or tea or whatever it is. Everyone can find something they like at Starbucks <laughs> usually. Um, and I would totally love to meet up with you guys and hit this meeting. So if you're interested, um, shoot me an email, a message, or whatever, and I will get in contact with you and give you my phone number or whatever, and um, let's hit that meeting on Thursday. If you can't make it this Thursday, um, we'll set it again for next Thursday to try to make it to go. Um, but I am for sure going this Thursday because I need this meeting. I have been in a long time, and... Um, I, I always find something there that helps me. And even though I'm two years post-op, I know I'm going to hear a message that I need to hear from someone. And um, and it's really great, too, for um, to ask questions that you have in here from other people as well. Um, there's people there who have gained weight back, people who have kept the weight off, um, people who are, you know, 10, 15 years post-op, and um, people who are – not even um haven't even had their surgery yet so it's a uh, it's really cool um anyway shit it's 10 53 after being my doctor's appointment in 15 minutes and it's 25 minutes away so i'm gonna head out of here but um i just wanted to give a shout out to um pudge muffin um i love you girl and i know it's difficult but you know what you'll make it through it 
um, you will. And, um, oh, last thing. Everyone has talked to me about, like, excess skin. And I've talked about excess skin before. Um, but they talked to – everyone's asking me what I did for exercise. Okay. So unconventional. I bought a stripper pole. I didn't buy one of them that you can get at, like, Spencer's or, like, an adult toy shop or whatever. I got one from the manufacturer, and they, like, dispense them for, like, um, actual, like, places that, like, um, like uh, kind of, like – like dance classes, but they have like the stripper pole dance classes and they make them for strip clubs. So they're like really good. Um, and mine's like portable and everything was 400 bucks. Um, I worked out on that at home on my own time. I felt great. It made me feel sexy. I worked muscles. I did not even fucking know that I have. And, um, I seriously, I seriously urge everybody to get a stripper pole because it is a great workout and it's a way to find your sexy again and to feel good about yourself. And hey, your husband or your boyfriend, it's going to spark something up between him too. You know, get a little bit of practice in there and then you could do a couple of sexy things on your um, on the pool for your husband or your boyfriend or whatever for tricks. I mean, it's just a great, um, great way to exercise. It's just, it's great. And it doesn't have to be nasty. It doesn't have to be um, strip club nasty dancing. I mean, um, and I learned how to dance on it off of YouTube. I would just pull up videos on YouTube and I would practice it and practice it and practice it. And I got really great. And I kept really toned. Like, I don't have really any excess skin. I mean, I don't have much. I have, I have muscle. Like, I have... Oh, wrong arm. Like, I have definition. And um, I wanted, I want to show you guys my stomach skin because a lot of people are asking me about stomach skin. Um, I really don't have any right now because I'm pregnant, so it's, like, all filled out. But, I mean, um, if you're really heavy, heavy, heavy set in, like, your thigh area, then, yeah, you're going to have a little bit of loose loose skin. No, it's not going to hang or sag unless you're losing a phenomenal amount of weight, like 300 pounds. And then, yeah, you're going to have issues. But um, as long as you're working out and you're doing those kinds of things, you know, the best that you can, um, you know, I don't think it'll be that bad. But in the areas that you're really heavy set, everyone's shaped differently, pear shape or whatever, um, you know, you're going to have a little bit more issues. I carried all my weight in my stomach, but I had small, small legs, small thighs. So I don't have any issues there whatsoever. Um, anyway, uh, shit, I really got to get fucking out of here. I love you guys. Um, sorry this video is kind of all over the place, but and I will see you guys later.